Hi, I'm Stephanie Miller, and I say that Billy Bob Thornton is afraid of talking babies. Unless, of course, they have a little vial of his blood around their neck, then it's fine. I'm Bruce Valanche, and I know that Billy Bob Thornton is afraid of crowded movie theaters. He doesn't like to see his films because he fears getting stuck in a crowd. That's why he loved the Alamo. Hi, I'm Sally Struthers. Did you know that Billy Bob Thornton is afraid of furniture built before 1950? If it's older than he is, he won't touch it. He has the same requirements for the women he dates. Who's got it right? You'll find out tonight on Balderdash. Starring Elaine Boozler. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, thanks a lot. Welcome to Balderdash. Balderdash, as we all know, is the vegetarian term for baloney. Hey, we got a great panel tonight. Give it up for Stephanie Miller. Bruce Lance. Struthers. Sally Struthers had the true answer to our first question of the evening. Billy Bob Thornton is afraid of furniture made before 1950. Yeah. That's what you want, a guy who prefers a beanbag chair to a Louis XIV desk. Huh? <laughs> an easy house to furnish. Okay, so that's pretty much how the show works. Uh, we're going to give our contestants 250 points apiece, and then all they have to do is bet on which of our celebrities is telling the truth for a two-to-one payoff, or who may be full of balderdash for a one-to-one payoff. That's the whole show. That's how it works. And to help you decide how much to bet on this first round, I'll tell you that tonight's opening category is Odd Foods. So lock in your bets, please, for truth or balderdash. Hiya, Ian. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good, what'd you bet? Uh, I bet uh, 216 on Balderdash. Okay, and Ilona. Hello. Hi. Your bet? I bet 205 on Balderdash. Those are the bets, and here we go, panel. This summer in Tokyo, Japanese ice cream makers showcased their wares at a trade show called Ice Cream City. There you could get chocolate, vanilla, and one of these more exotic flavors. And we will start with the lovely Stephanie Miller, soon to be all over radio again. Yay! Through Jones, New York. Stephanie Miller on Jones, New York Radio. And by the way, here's how you'll tell my show apart. Rush Limbaugh is on painkillers. You need painkillers to listen to my show. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Just some brains, I think. <laughs> All right, are you ready for this, Elaine? No. There is actually such a thing as tin ice cream. It has shavings of real tin in it. But if you eat it, you want to plan a little extra time at the airport because the metal detectors will probably go off when you go Ooh, through. Ooh, tin ice cream. Yeah. Ew. And here's another tip. Uh, don't, if you eat it, put yourself in the microwave to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stephanie Miller says it's tin ice cream. Edna Turnblad on Broadway in Hairspray, Bruce Valanche. Yes! <laughs> I'm flossing the tin out of my teeth. Uh, there is a delicacy of nothing better on a hot summer day than raw horse flesh ice cream. Mm. This is a Japanese delicacy. Now, uh, I know it sounds disgusting yes, because actually cooked horse flesh ice cream is quite good. <laughs> It's, yes. It's, it's a, not even the raw horse flesh ice cream. It's when they say, do you want this in a waffle hoof? <laughs> well, at least they stopped eating monkeys. Okay, raw horse flesh ice cream is what Bruce Valange says was a real flavor. Sally Struthers on the WB and Gilmore Girls. That's a great, great role. We enjoy very much. Yes, thanks for being Hi, here. Hi, Ian. Hi, Alona. Uh, well, Elaine, yes. I know about things Japanese because my hairdresser is Japanese, Hakudo Isoda. And um, I know that the ice cream was leech ice cream. Not uh, lychee? Oh, no, it's really, really hearty. It, it leech. sticks to your ribs. Yeah. No. And your tongue and your esophagus. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to Hagen Dust, which just sticks to your thighs. Okay. <laughs> Sally Struthers says it's leech ice cream. Bruce Valange says it's raw oh. horse flesh. Horse flesh. Ice cream. And Stephanie Miller says it's tin ice cream. Yeah. You're both looking for Balderdash. Pick a star. <laughs> Who'd you bet on, Ian? Well, Nihonjin desu ne, which means that oh. I speak Japanese. Ah. And I went uh, Balderdash with Bruce. Didn't buy it? No, not at okay. all. Okay, Ilona? Well, I went with Stephanie because... Tin just doesn't sound like it should be in cold ice cream. No, it doesn't. Hot ice cream, maybe. Maybe not hot, so. not cold. Okay, what's the real ice cream flavor? Oh, my goodness. 
Bruce Galantis telling the truth. Well, that's going to pay off for you, Alona. That was a good ball to dash bet, taking you up to 4.55. Ian, you may speak Japanese, but you're not a girl. You haven't ordered enough ice cream there. You're down to 34 points. Hey, here's one for you at home. Believe it or not, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will Smith, actually turned down a scholarship to prestigious MIT just so he could pursue a music career. Truth or balderdash? You'll find out when we come back. Will Smith could have been one of America's leading scientists if only he had been willing to take a pay cut of like a zillion dollars. Okay, it's time to meet our contestants. This is Ian Reichback from... I'm from Miami, Florida, and now I am a systems admin at a motion major picture company and an avid chess player. Ooh, chess. Ilona Goddard, what a beautiful name, like a 40s movie star. Thank you very Ilona much. Ilona Goddard, where are you from? I'm from Mission Viejo, California. I've got two small children, Dallas and Hope, and I am an avid hockey fan. Oh, nice. Well, say hi to your kids. Hi, Dallas and Hope. We're going to up the ante in this round. We're going to give you each an additional 500 points with which to wager. You must bet at least 250 points on each of the following questions. And the first category is... Laughable Laws. Lock in those wagers and choose either truth or balderdash. And what did you wager, Ian? I won 400 points on balderdash. Okay, Ilona? I wagered 355 points on balderdash. Those are the bets. And panel, here we go. Time again, once again, once again, time again for this popular category from the board game as we look at the laws of Kentucky. See if you can separate the truth from the balderdash. We will start with Bruce Valanche. Kentucky has laws. That's the first balderdash. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not Kentucky, nice. I know. I'm sorry. Hello. I'm sorry, Kentucky. Yeah. I'm sorry to all my relatives and the people they've married. At least they don't have horse flesh ice cream. Yeah. And the people they've married. Uh, Kentucky, yeah, Kentucky is, you know, fought for the Confederacy. And so in Kentucky, it is illegal to wear a Union Army jacket in public because it's considered a, an affront to the rich southern heritage of Kentucky, which is why whenever I'm there, I just wear a tasteful hoop skirt. <laughs> Lovely. Bruce Valance says that you cannot wear a Union Army jacket in public. Sally Struthers? I grew up in Kentucky. Really? So I know, yeah, I went to high school there. So I know that it's illegal in Kentucky to bring a seeing eye dog into a dance hall. I, I found that out the hard way, though, when I invited a seeing eye dog to my prom. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for a German Shepherd in a baby blue tuxedo. Who is it? Exactly. That's two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Sally says you can't bring a seeing eye dog into a dance hall. Uh, Stephanie Miller? Well, funny you should ask, Elaine. Everyone knows that in Kentucky, uh, reptiles cannot be used in conjunction with any church service. Which makes sense, because you try giving communion to a Komodo dragon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Body of... Ah! Alligator wallets at those bar mitzvahs. Okay, <laughs> Stephanie Miller says you can't use reptiles in a church service. Bruce Valange says you cannot wear a Union Army jacket in public. And the lovely Sally Struthers says you cannot bring a seeing eye dog into a dance hall. You're both looking for balderdash. Pick a star. Ian, who'd you go with? Uh, I went with Sally for balderdash okay. because I've seen how Kentucky people dance and they can use a seeing eye dog. <laughs> oh, that was Boy, funny. like we have enough affiliates to spare. <laughs> so much Lona? I also went with Sally just because it sounds silly. That's a very good reason. Thank you. It's a silly show and we like when things sound silly. What's the true law in Kentucky, please? Oh boy, you can't use reptiles in a church service. Good news for both of you. Yeah. Sally was going to bother that. So, Alona, you're up to 1310. Ian, you're up to 534. Well, oh, I'm sorry, you're up to 934. It's quick. Look how quick that was. You already came back a little. We'll go right to the next question, give you a chance to come back even more. And the category is foreign game shows. So, lock in your wagers for truth or balderdash. What did you bet, Ian? I bet 600 points, balderdash. All right, Ilona? I bet 405 points on balderdash. Balderdash again, here we go. In China, they remake some of our favorite game shows, but they don't always turn out exactly the same. And to tell us about one of these changes, we will start with the lovely, talented, funny, and gorgeous Sally Struthers. Oh God, Elaine, I'm going to come here every week. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, I just got well, a thesaurus for Christmas. I went so. to high school in China. Oh. So, um, <laughs> 
know that when they made Wheel of Fortune, the difference over there was that they actually strapped the children to the wheel and spun them around for the prizes. <laughs> the most often heard thing said on the show was, I think I would like a vowel and my child a barf bag. <laughs> wow, they strapped kids to the wheel? Yeah, they're very creative, those Chinese very people. Very creative. Okay, Wheel of Fortune spun kids on a wheel. Stephanie Miller. Oh, well, Elaine, yes. I know this because I used to date uh, Sally Struthers, uh, German Shepherd prom date in China. It's a whole long story. Anyway. <laughs> well, thank uh, you for Animal Planet. Yes. <laughs> Everyone knows, though, on the Chinese version of The Price is Right, the showcase round actually featured two people duking it out physically for ten minutes. It was not pretty. The winner uh, got a brand new car, and the loser got Chinese water torture for 10 minutes and then spayed and neutered. So it wasn't oh, pretty. But socially conscious. <laughs> okay, Stephanie says the price is right. Two people have to battle it out physically. Bruce Valanche. Well, in China, <laughs> where I have also been, but I can't tell you why. In your hoop skirt? <laughs> I flew over that way, exactly, yes. Um, uh, they have family feud, and on family feud in China, they verbally abuse each other for cash and prizes, which is why last year, the Osbournes were the winners of the Chinese Emmy, <laughs> or Chemi, as it is known. Very nice. For the very small but devoted Chinese television industry. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Bruce Valange says in Family Feud, they verbally abuse each other for cash and prizes. Us Jews do it for nothing, right? Okay. <laughs> Sally Struther says, Wheel of Fortune, they spun kids on a wheel. And Stephanie Miller says, The Price is Right, two people are battling it out. You're both looking for Balderdash? Pick the star you don't believe. Hey, Ian, who'd you go with? So confused. Me I, too. I just picked Stephanie. Okay, well, there you go, Stephanie. <laughs> Ilona? I went with Bruce Valanche. Okay, Bruce Valanche or Balderdash? Yeah. Well, let's see uh, the actual game show in China. Oh, good for both of you. You guys are doing great. I don't know. We're down to the ball of this. That takes you up to 1715. Wonderful, Ian. You are now up to 1534. It's a pretty close game and some great betting going on. We'll be right back. Come back and see what happens after this. Closed captioning provided by... determining round. Can Ian catch up? Can I possibly find a shinier shirt? I don't know. We're going to add a thousand points to each of your scores. You must bet at least half your bank in this round and you are looking for the truth only in the category of On the Map. Locking those wagers for truth only. And of course in this round we don't reveal your bets until after the round. Take a look at this. There's something about the little town of Muckleteo, Washington that makes it different from all the rest. And to find out exactly what that is, we shall begin with the lovely Stephanie Miller. Oh, well, Elaine, everyone yes, knows Stephanie. this. This is where you'll find the world's largest paper airplane. It's actually large enough for uh, five adults to sit in. Unfortunately, a third grader shot it down with the world's largest spitball. Oh. <laughs> so, that wasn't good. Okay, Stephanie Miller says it is the home of the world's largest paper airplane. Bruce Valange? Well, in that picture, it looks like Muckle Tia was under attack by a cruise ship. <laughs> it does. But we know how painful that can be. In reality, every July, they have a thing called the Apple Cider Stomp. This is where everybody in the town takes off their shoes and their socks and gets into huge barrels and crushes apples into various juices. The most popular flavor is corn. Ew. Followed closely by Granny Smith. Okay. And of course, bunion soup. Now, I live here. That's it? <laughs> yes, it's the apple cider stomp. Thank you very much for that lovely answer. Sally Struthers. Well, uh, before we moved to Kentucky, I went to elementary school. In I don't believe a word of it. Well, I was an army brat. My father was an army doctor, and we moved around a lot. So, uh, he wasn't in the Muckle witness Teo. protection program? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Um, that's why you're hosting the show, and I'm not. No one knows why I'm hosting the show, but anyway. <laughs> okay, it's Muckle Teo. shiny shirts. It's the shiny shirts. I had it. In uh, Muckle Teo, the, the school board every year sponsors a casino night so that the local residents uh, don't have to pay city taxes and with the money that from gambling the kids are learning to read and write and never to split eights when the dealer's showing an ace or a ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, great. Sally Struthers says it's casino night to pay local taxes. Brucey says it's the apple cider stump. And Steffi says it's the world's largest paper airplane. You looking for truth? Pick a star. And again, we don't reveal your answer until we find out what it's famous for. Let's take a look. Oh boy, it's the world's largest paper airplane. And that would be Stephanie Miller telling the truth over there. Ian, you were behind. Did you put Stephanie and did you bet enough to win? I picked Bruce and I did bet enough to win. Uh -huh. Oh, what did you bet? Uh, I bet twelve sixty. Well, that will take you down to twelve sixty four, but let's find out what Alona did before we give up. I did pick Stephanie. Oh, that's and good I news. Bet twenty five fifty five. Excellent work, hey. excellent Ian. <laughs> You're the champion. You did it alone. A fantastic. So you're going to go to the big ball to dash garage. You need to pick a star to play with you. Who would you like? I would like Bruce Valanche. Bruce right. Valanche is coming down to play the garage. Come on back and play it with us. Want to be on Balderdash? To learn how, visit www.pax.tv slash Balderdash or call 323-762-7126. Stay tuned for more Balderdash. Continues. Here again is Elaine Boozler. Lona, and she has wisely chosen Bruce Valance ah, to play yes. the Balderdash Barrage with That's her. That's right, because she went for the blonde. Yes, I think, <laughs> yes. Actually, it's a two-for-one at the hairdresser. Did you go the same today. dog groomer? <laughs> I think so. That's right. I come back with a ribbon in the hair. It's Happy really pet. Cute. Right behind the ear. That's yes, so we love that. Hey, you know, there's some great prizes up for grabs today. You're going to win one of them. Here's John Mishita to tell you about the first possibility. Say goodbye to greasy change. It's the lightweight Ixie bike. Travel everywhere in easy, breezy comfort and style with the Ixie bike. It's compact, collapsible, carefree, grease-free, and fun. Get in touch with your inner wanderer. Get an Ixie bike. Goodbye to Greasy no, Chains. Love greasy we chains. love it's Greasy Jersey. Chains. Denny's, IHOP. Right. Oh, yeah. Greasy <laughs> Chains brought me pizza late at night. Greasy. I liked him. Of course. I Plus, I'm on the road. Goodbye. I live in Greasy Chains. <laughs> well, okay. Maybe you won't win that one. Here's the grand prize. Maybe you'll win this. It's a Caribbean cruise vacation. Costa Cruises, Europe's leading cruise line, offers you and a guest a seven-night Caribbean cruise aboard the brand-new Costa Mediterranean or the highly acclaimed Costa Atlantica. Cruising Italian style from Costa Cruise Line. Back to you, Elaine. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, how do you get to the Caribbean or Caribbean or Caribbean? There are ten letters in the word Balderdash. Behind nine of those letters, you can say goodbye to greasy chains. Behind one of those letters is the Caribbean crew. So how do you get there? We'll play the Balderdash barrage. I'll read you sentences for 45 seconds that end in Balderdash. You have to correct them to make them true. Let's try one, okay? okay? Okay, the Golden Gate Bridge is located in the United States State of Independence. California. California, that's it. If you don't know it, say pass. Bruce will have a chance. If you don't know it, say pass. We'll go on to the next one. Yes. Four. Pass. You want to try it? Pass. Yeah, pass. Okay. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> okay. So for every correct answer, we take away one of the Greasy Chains letters, getting you closer and closer <laughs> to the creepy. The greasy Chains. Here's the fantastic news. If you get nine right, you win both prizes. So there you go. Ready? Yeah. Got it? All excited? Oh. Time to play the Ball Dash Barrage. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock. And the clock starts now. The show Frasier was a spin-off of Lilith. Cheers. Yes. The joint between the thigh and the ankle is the thingamajig. Me. Yes. The city of Cape Town is the capital of fashion. South Africa. Yes. Uh, one. On the Anna Nicole Smith show, sugar pie is Anna's breakfast. Dog. Yes. Levi Strauss invented the waltz. Jeans. Yes. Superman's home planet was Planet Hollywood. Pass. Krypton. Yes. The first mass-produced book printed on the Gutenberg Press was Gone with the Wind. Pass. The Bible. Yes. Davy Jones and Michael Nesmith were two of the four members of the Green Party. The monkey. Yes. The chemical symbol, H-E, stands for hernias. Pass. Pass. Helium. The animal with the longest neck is Big Bird. Giraffe. Yes. That's it. You did it. Nine right. Who's that? Who's writing? <laughs> well, she did it. She's getting a cruise. She's getting the greasy chain. She won it all. We hope you had a good time. We had a good time playing. He claims that animals rescued pets make the best pets. That's no balderdash. And we'll see you right back here next time. Thanks. That was great. Some of our contestants may receive the following. Enjoy a great selection from the complete line of Mattel games and puzzles, including Seen It, Name Dropper, Uno Attack, and of course, the latest edition of Balderdash.
Shows presents.